All right, so we just did the... We just did the Iron Monk Brewing Company, one of the Crowlers, and this one here is their Exit 174, but peach rye flavored. And mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. The Exit 174 was great. We gave it an eight or nine, I can't remember. He has to look that up. Yeah. But it was up there. And then here is their peach one. And we gave it a 9.5. Yeah. yeah. A 9.5. We liked it better than that one just because it had the nice, sweet fruit flavor. And that kind of cut down on the bitter dryness. Which mm -hmm. it wasn't really bitter dry, but it was there. But this kind of supplemented it with some sweet fruity flavor and topped it over. We got a little bit left, so we're going to go ahead and finish it off. And this here is the peach. God, that's delicious. Even yeah. on a chug. Now we're going to be doing uh, Rough Top Brewing Company's <coughs> Wheat Dreams. Funny how they do their uh, lettering. Their lettering it look like wet dreams. <coughs> wet dreams. That means they want to call it wet dream, you know. Yeah. You got to add that in there to make it <laughs> politically correct type shit. This is the second time they've canned it. Uh, the first time I completely missed it. I uh, didn't make it to the, the release. Because he's a dumbass. Yeah, so we got this um, up after their fourth anniversary party. Yep. We got it and their fourth anniversary and, you know, some hot tomatures because you can't go wrong with it. Yeah. We both got a four pack of the fourth anniversary, this and hot tomatures because our shirts were completely wrong sized. <laughs> yeah, which they, they put a sign up now. Yeah. But just for your information, if you don't pay attention to the sign, if you go to get some of their button up shirts, they fit small. Like two sizes too small. So if you're a double X, don't get a double X. If you're a large, go ahead and get a double X. Yeah. Or a three if they have it. Because <laughs> yeah. y'all seen, if y'all actually watch the videos, uh, my little brother, Travis, you know, the youngest one, looks like a leprechaun, Irish motherfucker. You've seen his size. He's a little guy. And it was just a hair big on him, a double XL. <laughs> when normally he'd be in like a medium, maybe yeah. large. So, you better figure in at least two sizes. Mm. That's just for info, so you know you don't buy it, go home, and then have to go back. Yeah. Alright. You gonna go pour yours? I see. You can't pour me out here. Now, I will say, for a wheat beer, um, it's pretty citrusy. Uh, I'm honest, if you were to tell me this is a wheat beer and I, and I didn't see a label on it... Yeah, if you just said mm. it is wet dreams, and we taste it... It'd be thought, hard to label it as a wheat. I would have thought wet dreams like, you know, wet citrus, you know, citrus forward beer. Kind of a, a, a ale of some sort. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty citrus forward. Um, uh, even the smell, yeah. I mean, the, the the color is not even really that dark for being a wheat beer. It's it's, it's you got a little sediment. It's, it's verging towards orange, but not quite. Well, you get that little bit from the wheat. You see the sediment floating around? Yeah. You kind of get that, but... But yeah, the smell, I mean, it's citrus. Man, but it goes down good and smooth. And it's yeah. citrusy smooth, and it really would remind you of like a citrusy uh, ale. Yeah. But it's a wheat beer. And I mean, the aftertaste. The aftertaste kind of, you kind of get more of that wheat beer tasting after you swallow and wait a second. A little, a little bit aftertaste, but yeah, if you knew no better, you would want to say some kind of citrusy ale. But no matter what it got labeled as, it's good. This is probably my second favorite um, rough tail. If they was to put it in, uh, con you know, continuous rotation, uh, Hoptometrist would be my first, then this, then their IPA, uh, their Polar Eclipse. Um, Polar Night, possibly. Uh, I don't know. Their, their little blue pills is pretty damn good for a, a daily drink. The bad, the thing that makes the decision so hard. Everything is, is fucking good. Is Rough Tail? I mean, they just nail real good on every type of beer. I mean, that's why this got put here. Our Rough Tail sign. And then, if you notice, that's the cork from the uh, DNR. Mm-hmm. Right there. The brandy aged cherry DNR. Mm. Yeah, his uh, 
His heater over there has got moved away. Two of the four stickers on it are, are from Rough Tail. And we got Vanessa House and uh, Prairie. Uh, Artisan Prairie Hill. Uh, Artisan. Artisan. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Prairie Artisan Hill. I'm feeling pretty good by this point. I don't <laughs> drink as often as I used to, and now it's kind of flipped around. I used to drink more than he did, and now he drinks more than I do, so I'm a little fucked up. But pretty much what I'm trying to say is Rough Tail does great on their beers. Yeah. I'm never afraid of just like today we went to get one of their new releases and we're sitting here going well how many four packs do we want and we're sitting here going well you know we've never been disappointed by rough tail so fuck it we'll grab a few fucking four packs a piece and never yep. even tasting it uh, and, and you're talking uh 13 bucks four pack yeah you know you're paying a little bit but it's a limited time release and we're well, like eh, buy one buy two we're like yeah we've never been disappointed by them so screw it we'll grab a couple of pieces yeah, Matt's running the uh, E-Juice release, E-Juice line, whatever. Um, pretty much it's an IPA uh, with uh, milk sugars, lactose, and then they just add a different fruit to it. It was a blueberry. Boysenberry. Boysenberry and... Uh, Blackberry. Blackberry, yes, yes, yes. Which we'll be reviewing that after this one, so... Excited. Yes. We've already had a, a draft pour... <laughs> We cheated. <laughs> it's kind of hard if you go to the brewery to get this limited time release, grab a couple four packs, and like, oh, we'll go in the bar and hang out, you know, say hi to the guys, have a beer, and you walk in, you see on the board, huh? I got e juice on draft. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I'll take one of the e juices. Yeah, that and we, you know, we were wanting something a little, a little uh, lighter on the ABV and on the flavor because we still had to drive back here. <laughs> Well, Last thing I want to do is drive through the goddamn city and have alcohol in me. Whether it impaired driving or not, you know, point oh eight don't take much to fucking hit that. Yeah, he wasn't going to slam up a, a polar eclipse at 12%. <laughs> no. I don't take those risks. I mean, I mean, the smartest thing to do is not drink and drive. I mean, simple as that. You either yeah. got to ride or you don't, you know. Like you got to be uh, smart with your decisions. I mean, it, it's never smart to decide to drink, get drunk, and go drive. That, that, that's just stupid. I mean, that, I think of it as uh, immature. Yeah. Like at the prayer release, we uh, we both got dropped off. Yep. We, I mean, we didn't get as tipsy as we did last year, but I enjoyed this year more for the hanging out, and it was we were there yep. literally twice as long. So. And I think we'd enjoy the hanging out more on the third anniversary if... We wouldn't have been so worried about doing reviews. Yeah. I didn't take the camera. Cameras. We didn't even... Nope. I, did, I just took a few no pictures. No videos. I just took some pictures. That was it. Because we're like, you know what? This is an anniversary party. One time deal out of the year. Yeah. We don't need to do fucking videos right now. We need to see all the people we, you know, chat with, talk to, watch our videos. We watch their videos and stuff like that. And we just need to hang out and drink some beer and socialize it's just the one thing I make. Okay, there was two things I had issues with with this year's anniversary party, but neither were negative. Uh, one, other breweries weren't there offering their beers, and two, the Crowler area, people would camp there and. Not, it was another building. It was like a completely separate party going on. I mean, immediately. I mean, immediately just showed up. We showed up towards the beginning of the party. I mean, right at the beginning. It had already started, but we showed up right at the beginning. And you got a line like crazy over the Crowler area, over at another building. And I mean, you already got people sitting over there behind the cars in lawn chairs, and that is just their hangout point, and they're not even mm -hmm. socializing or even coming over to the actual anniversary party. That was kind of a. a I mean, I can understand because fall, you know, I guess legally they yeah. can't bring their own beers over to Rough Tail's actual area and drink their own beers. That's that's cool, but I'd like to see. A pre-designated amount of growlers or crowlers filled of each kind of release. That way, they they're not wasting time filling them and sealing them. Nope. That'd be a lot easier. It might be more of a pain in the ass, but I guarantee it'd save people a lot more time. If the laws still allowed, I know that shit changes all the time. I, I don't keep up with it, but if it could allow it, I would love to see the fifth year anniversary like the third year anniversary. The setup, I freaking loved it. Mm -hmm. It was all one area. People were more multiple breweries. Together. I mean, you know, sister breweries, you know, 
awesome people come in, and, it, and you know, it's kind of like families coming together, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everyone hang out together, try each other's stuff, have a good time, socialize, party. I love that atmosphere. That was great. I mean, fourth anniversary party, that was fucking great. I had a great time, yeah. didn't you? I mean, it was fun. We're just kind of, you know, talking about what we liked between... Fourth anniversary, I could spin around and not hit nobody. Third anniversary, it was but, fucking shoulder but the thing to shoulder. Is, as a bitch. You were more likely to spark conversation with someone you did not know. That's how you know we met people yeah. like Tom Chalice. Uh, and Tom, oh my God, yeah, great, one awesome of the dude. greatest guys you could ever meet. I mean, he is a sweet, sweet, kind soul. He's great. I mean, he will be friends with anybody that talks to him. And he and he won't and he won't just say it right then and there. He will follow up with it. He will follow you on Facebook. He will you post something. It don't have to do with beer. You can post something with your family and he comments with it and he interacts with you. Tom Chalice is great. If you don't know him, you need to get to know him. Yep. I'm almost done. <laughs> I've been talking too goddamn much. Easy drink. Um Easy sessionable beer. I'm not quite sure the ABV it will be right here, of course, as usual. Uh, I wouldn't guess no more than six. Seven. Yeah. I'd say six. Uh, so, I chose. I spin. No, uh, no, you spin. You I chose. Spin. All right. Good old Wheat Dreams slash Wet Dreams from uh, Rough Tail. Uh, wheat beer with good little citrus. Got to give it that. All right, go ahead, Steve. Okay, so out of the fourth anniversary ale, the Hoptometrist, and the Wheat Dreams that I picked up, because you know my shirt was, you know, and I got the same thing he yeah. picked. Up. Yeah, this, <laughs> this was one. this was my favorite of the three. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and say easy nine and a half. And which what I was going to say earlier, I gave it a nine. Okay. What I was going to say earlier when you were talking about, you know. You like wheat dreams, you know, but you know, you're solid. That's always been with uh, uh, Reptile, is the optometrist and stuff. Same with me. And I was going to bring up last Saturday. I had the four pack, uh, me and him both got the same four packs for turning on our shirts. Four pack optometrist, four pack of uh, wheat dreams, and a four pack of fourth anniversary. Well, I went ahead and I had one fourth anniversary, one wheat dreams, one optometrist. Guess what happened after that? Wet dream, wet dream, wet dream. <laughs> My next three beers after one of each was wet dream, wet dream, oh, wheat dream, sorry. I call it wet dream. <laughs> but the next three was I killed those off before even fading into the rest. I mean, I love it. Great beer. Smooth drinking. Full of flavor. Good citrus bite. Oh, <laughs> He's grabbed my evidence of what I drank last Saturday. I killed them all in one day. This was Jesse's uh, weekend, or I'm sorry, weekday. <laughs> yep. So, there you go. Well, I decided to have a Easter uh, egg hunt for all the kids with all our friends and family and stuff out here at the farm. Had the older kids go out in the pasture and younger kids, you know, to three years old or younger here in the backyard and people started showing up and I got my music going. I was like, you know what? I threw them in the ice chest earlier. I think I'm gonna go drink me some rough tail. Got my six <laughs> sixteen pint glass out. Sixteen sixteen ounce. One pint sixteen ounce glass out. And I was like, well, you know what? I'll start out one at a time. You know, I'll start out with the you know newest one out. I was just cruising around. Next thing I know, I had four or five people left. Then my brother and his uh, fiance came back out for the night to hang out. So on the back porch, I'm like, you know what? I might as well keep on hitting this. And <laughs> I killed all the rough tails and then killed three Mears beers. Which, uh, Mears beers, uh, Mears, Oklahoma, down there by the Wichita Mountains. It's a restaurant, Mears, and they got their own wheat beer. Some of y'all might know. But Pretty some damn good beer. I mean, you know, it's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's a pretty good unfiltered wheat beer, and yeah. I killed three of them. We loved it back then, but now we might, you know, give it eight or something. It, it, now, from what we've had, I, I would range it around seven, eight. Yeah. 
on a scale. But, I mean, when we but reviewed it, we, we reviewed it like three years ago, and it was amazing. So, okay, so long ass video. <laughs> there you go. Uh, what'd you give it? What? A nine and a half. I said nine. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, I think we both said nine point five. Maybe I don't fucking remember. Or I just get no. I just gave that one a nine. Nine. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll be seeing. You.